Using artificial intelligence can actually hurt your real estate business unless you know how to clone yourself. You see, the problem with most agents is that they're doing single line prompts into things like ChatGPT and getting blogs to be created or social media posts. And what happens is you end up sounding like every other agent and that starts to lose your authenticity and it starts to tarnish your personal brand. But there's a reason why somebody like Adam Gillespie, who in my opinion is the most knowledgeable person in the industry when it comes to ChatGPT is using it and teaching others how to use it to accelerate their business and close more deals. And that is because once you understand how to clone yourself in ChatGPT, every single thing that you do with it sounds identical to you. And when you do that, you can start to create massive leverage of your business, save thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours, eliminate the need for a virtual assistant and for free, be able to get the power of artificial intelligence to take your real estate business to a completely different level. And in this video, Adam's going to break down exactly how you can do that. Now, before diving into how to clone yourself, which is going to blow your mind, I want to mention that Adam actually has a free 90 minute masterclass on how how to leverage ChatGPT in various practical applications that she's helped hundreds of agents implement into their business and see growth with. And if you want that free training, which breaks down some of the most incredible demonstrations, just comment below and say masterclass, and we will make sure that you get that free training. But without further ado, let's show you the most powerful thing that you can do as a realtor when it comes to artificial intelligence and ChatGPT, which is showing you how to clone yourself. All right, guys. So here we are in of chat GPT and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start this blank chat in GPT 4 Oh, all right. So make sure you're not in 4.0 mini or in GPT-4. We want to be in GPT-4.0 just because it's got a little bit better of a conversational style and the output is, is significantly better and more human, right? So we're going to go ahead and start with GPT-4.0. I'm going to paste this prompt in and I will be giving you guys this prompt as well. So keep a lookout for that. Uh, basically what it's stating is that I'm a realtor planning to leverage chat GPT to generate content that aligns with my business objective. To ensure this content is as relevant and effective as possible, chat GPT must deeply understand my business, our customer base, and our overarching goals. With that in mind, I'd like to start by providing detailed insights into these areas. So what's happened here, guys, is I've told ChatGPT who I am and what I'm trying to do, okay? And then I gave it a role, right? That it's gonna ask us questions to try to learn more about our business, which is absolutely key um, in this right now. So check this out, so it goes, Please ask me a comprehensive set of questions to gather information about the following aspects of my business. Number one, the core mission and vision of my business, the primary products or services we offer, our target customer demographics and psychographics, key challenges to our customers that we face or that face that we aim to solve, the geographic regions we serve to plan or plan or we serve or plan to serve, our current marketing strategies and channels, short-term and long-term business goals, key competitors in our unique value proposition, the tone and style of communication that resonates with our audience, and any previous customer feedback or insights that can shape our strategy. Then it finalizes with feel free to ask additional questions that you believe are necessary to accurately capture the essence of what we're trying to achieve and to produce content that effectively speaks to our audience. This foundational understanding will be critical for you to refer back to when completing future tasks and ensuring the content generated is aligned with our business goals. So you guys, this is a really big prompt, but here's the key is that if you follow this prompt uh, and you do it thoroughly and we answer these questions in great detail, ChatGPT is going to have an insane idea of what you are trying to achieve in your business. It's going to know everything about it, right? And let's say you're a new agent and you're like, well, Adam, I don't have a core mission and a vision for my business. Well, the best part is, is that ChatGPT can help us come up with that, right? So for example, let's just send this prompt through, okay? So what it's stating is absolutely, gathering comprehensive insights will be crucial for tailoring content to align with your business objectives. Here's a detailed set of questions to help us get started. So what it's doing here is it's breaking it down into our specific segments and it's asking a question specifically on those segments and what you're going to want to do is go over and answer these in extreme detail now let's say you don't have a core mission and a vision right let's let, let's just go ahead and highlight that click this reply button and just say i don't have this right please help me come up with it Right? So now what we've done is we've taken ChatGPT 
and it's it's realized that hey we don't have this so let's work together to define the core mission of your business here's a few questions right so it's going to go into your purpose why did you start your business what core problems or need are you aiming to address here's your values your goals your impact your unique selling proposition so you can go through and answer these questions in great detail and that will give you your core mission statement, right? So any of the questions that ChatGPT asks you that you don't have answers to, you can just highlight and say, hey, help me get this answered, right? So that way at the end of it, you have a very comprehensive list of exactly what these missions and visions and products and services and customer target demographics and all of that stuff is. And then we're gonna be able to use this over and over through multiple new chats. And it'll be a very quick way to show ChatGPT exactly what we're about in our business and what we're trying to achieve, right? So let's just go ahead and go through this a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys kind of the flow here. And then I'm gonna show you a pre-programmed chat that I've already gone through where I've answered all of this stuff and show you kind of what that output looks like, okay? so. Assuming that we don't have that core mission, like this is how we're gonna wanna answer it. So you're gonna come down here, type in a number one, and let's answer that first question. So why did you start your real estate business? What core problem or need are you aiming to address? Well, for me guys, I started my real estate business because I wanted to be in control of my future, right? I wanted to be independent and I wanted to not be an employee. I hated being an employee. I've always wanted to be a business owner and it just seemed like real estate was perfect for me because I could do it on my own without having to worry or, 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 or try to hire a team out. Now, obviously we get to that point sometime in our real estate career, but for me coming into real estate, I was a construction uh, owner. I, I was a general contractor and we had a bunch of employees and none of them wanted to show up to work. And I was just really tired on having to rely on somebody else to make my business move. So that's how I found real estate, right? So what I would do is I would just come into here and say, you know, freedom, freedom to choose my schedule and how I operate my business. And, and not only that, but I had a really crazy um, uh, experience buying my first home and it was less than adequate. So I figured, you know, I could be an educator and I could help people through this process and make their experience better than mine was, right? So what I wanna do is I aim to improve the overall experience that buyers and sellers have with their realtor. And you'll have to forgive me, I'm not the best speller and I'll, I'm a little, I, I, I two finger type, right? Cause I come from the entertainment industry. I'm a tech geek, but I'm not a technical geek if that makes sense. So I type with two fingers and I'm lot, trying to get this out very fast. So um, bear with me as I spell things incorrectly. So now that we've answered that first question, which I would encourage you guys to go into more detail than I did, but for simplicity sakes and to not keep you on this tutorial for three hours, I'm gonna make it very simple, but you guys need to go into this in extreme detail. And you know, for a lot of people, it might help for us to pull out our phones. Um, if you download ChatGPT mobile app on your phone, then basically we can hit this thing called voice mode where it looks like a little set of headphones in the bottom of the phone. Uh, you click on that and you can speak to ChatGPT your answers, right? So that may be easier for some people than it is to type this stuff in. So once you've answered that first question and you're ready to move on to question number two, Instead of hitting enter and just sending question number one answer through, I want you to hold shift and hit enter again. And that's gonna give you the ability to separate these questions here. So it just gives us a drop down. Now I can answer question two, right? So what values and principles are most important to you and your business, e.g. integrity, customer focus, and innovation? Well. I'm part of an amazing organization called the Atlas Alliance, and we're a mastermind group of people that, you know, we focus on family, faith, and fulfillment in our business, and we've got a set of values already ironed out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload those into ChatGPT so it can see the values as they're written, and I don't have to retype it here. But for you, you would wanna figure out what your values are and list those here. So for me, I'm gonna say I will upload my values to this prompt or to this chat, whatever you wanna say in there, just say you're gonna upload that, right? And then what we would do is we'd come over here, we'd upload from our computer, come over here where I've got that information stored, and I'm just uploading that, right? So there it is, there's all my values there. So let's move on to uh, question three. 
Goals. What are the primary goals you want to achieve for your clients? Helping them find their dream home, providing the best investment opportunities. What are those goals? So if you haven't set goals yet, this is another example where you can dive deeper with ChatGPT and you can say, hey, I haven't set the goals, but help me go through that. And ChatGPT can walk you through this, okay? So you can see how this chat could end up really taking quite a bit of time, um, which is okay because the time spent here is very well spent because we're going to have this in a document once we're completed with this and we can use this from here on out and from there all we have to do is update it when our cores and our or when our core values or our goals change right um, we can even come back to this very chat and just update it and then get a new summary so there's tons and tons a value from taking your time and going through this process thoroughly and making sure that we're as detailed as possible with our answers. So for me, my goals was to help 40 clients this year find a house, right? So I want to help 40 clients find their dream home. Okay, my goal is to educate and informate and inform, right? I, I don't want to sell stuff. I hate salesmen, I'm sorry, but I do. And I don't like to be sold to like that, but I do love to be educated and I love to be informed. And when it's coming from a professional in the industry that I'm looking to get into or buying a house, this is valuable stuff, right? It's way better than trying to qualify them or telling them why interest rates are high right now and why they should buy now instead of waiting for later and trying all these psychological manipulation tactics to try to get people to buy a house. I I just want to educate and inform. Now that may not be you and that's completely okay. That's what makes this industry so great is that we all have our own unique selling styles. So it's really important to drill down these goals. Um, and like I said, fill it out in great as detail as possible. But for simplicity sakes, I'm just going to stop right here and say, you know, I want to educate and inform, not sell people. Okay. Right. And number four going on impact. How do you want your business to impact your clients in the community? Creating a seamless buying experience, contributing to community development, like all of that, right? I want my clients to absolutely understand what's going on so they can be comfortable with their decisions, right? That's one of the biggest things is a lot of people aren't comfortable with their decisions because their realtor is trying to sell them where I don't wanna do that. So I want my clients to be educated so they can be comfortable with their decisions. Like after all, they are the decision makers, right? I view myself as an advisor and a consultant and an intermediary, right? My, my job is just to help them make the right decisions, but at the end of the day, they're the ones that are gonna make those decisions, right? Um, number five, our unique selling proposition. What makes your business unique compared to other real estate businesses? Personalized service, use of AI technology, extensive knowledge. Hey guys, I'm an AI guy, as you guys know this. So I'm an AI centric agent and I absolutely leverage that where a lot of agents that want to implement AI try to hide it, right? They try to hide it behind their CRM and they want to try to trick the client into thinking that they're talking to them when they're really talking to a robot. Not me. I'm going to let my clients know, hey, not only am I AI centric, but I've got a robot that's there for you 24 seven, right? You can ask it questions. It'll give you answer. You can look up uh, information about my listings. It can give you answers based on what that what, what listing you're interested in like that is a serious serious value proposition that not a lot of agents are doing right now or like I said they're trying to hide behind it and act like they're the ones responding at 1130 at night when your client has a question right so this is my unique selling proposition I am AI centered and that makes the buying experience or buying buying and selling experience better for the client, right? Um, you know, I, and personalized service is a big thing for me too. So you, like I said, once again, we wanna go through these questions and really fill them out in detail. The more information you give, the better the output response is going to be, okay? So we've gone through these first five questions that's gonna give us our core value mission statement. So let's send that prompt through and let's see what happens here, okay? So what you've seen, 
is it uploads this image into ChatGPT, and ChatGPT uses a process called convolutional neural network to basically describe this image, right? So it can read the image. In, in layman's term, it basically reads the image, okay? So here's what it puts out. It says, great, let's start by compiling the information you've provided along with the image to craft a detailed and coherent, uh, a coherent overview of your business. And I'll also create some additional points based on your notes and the values image, right? <clears throat> So look at this, here's our core mission, is to enhance the real estate experience for buyers and sellers by providing a personalized AI-centered approach that focuses on education, informed decision-making, and a smooth transaction process. The vision is to be the leading AI-powered real estate service provider in Denver, known for empowering clients with knowledge and ensuring they feel confident and comfortable in their real estate decisions. Okay, so how did it know I was in Denver? Well, that's because I have that information inside of my custom instructions, which I don't wanna derail and go down that rabbit hole real quick, but just for, for, for clarity purposes, box one in our custom instructions, like I showed you on the previous video, you want to put your information in there, and then that way ChatGPT knows where you're at all the time, right? So it, it really helps out when we're creating this stuff. So our primary focus uh, products or services is helping buyers find their dream homes, assisting sellers in achieving optimal sale conditions for their properties, and providing AI enhanced real estate services to streamline and improve the buying and selling process. So look at this. We've literally just answered number one, right? Our core mission and our vision. And then it goes in and it tries to go into our primary products and service. So you can see where it tried to answer those for us, which is kind of frustrating to me because we highlighted just that core mission and told it that we don't have this, right? So it was just, what's the core mission of your business? But you can see ChatGPT decided to answer all the questions, which is not really what we wanted. So that's gonna happen because that's just kind of the way AI is right now. We have to guide it in the right directions and sometimes it will get a little bit off track. And we just gotta reel it back in. So what we're gonna do here is see what it gave us that, that it kind of assumed on. Now, this is uh, th this this could be going off of some of the information I put inside of my custom instructions. So there may be some stuff here that's good. So let's take a look at it. Our main services, our unique selling AI driven market analysis, and proper recommendations, personalized educational content to inform clients about the real estate process. Yeah, it's kind of there. You know, target demographics. This is something that I would want to uh, absolutely draw, dial into. So what we would do from here is even though it recreated this say, I, I would just tell it like, hey, the core mission and values is good, but we're gonna, let me answer the other questions, okay? So as you can see, I'm scrolling up and down here, and that's because I wanna keep an eye on here and see what my next, um, my next question is right here, right? So what are the main products or services that you offer, okay? So we're gonna come up here, and we're just gonna hit the reply button onto this, and then here we're gonna say, thanks for helping with the core mission and values. I will continue to answer the questions in order starting with the, um, um, starting with, uh, let's just say the, the second part, right? Okay, and we've got that there, right? So now what we're gonna do is once again, we can hold shift and let's look at what those were. So we're gonna come back up here to our primary goals. What's the main products or service that you offer? Well, obviously that's real estate services, right? So we're gonna go ahead and type in number four. And if you already had your core mission and vision, then obviously you would just start answering these questions one by one in that one chat here. But since we went in and had it help us create that core mission and the vision, that's why we're re-highlighting section two here, uh, which actually doesn't say section two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight this piece right here and say, thanks for helping with the mission values. I will continue to answer the questions in order, starting with and then let's go ahead and just paste that in primary products or services, okay? So I offer real estate services and I specialize with first time home buyers. Okay, so you just wanna basically put what your specialties are in there. Uh, are there any new products or services that you plan to introduce soon? Oh yeah, absolutely, right? Like I've got a 24 seven customer service robot that I'm building right now that sounds just like me. Right, so it's like having AI, AI Adam there to help you out 24 seven. So that's what I'm gonna put, 24 seven customer service robot that is a clone 
of me. And this is pretty cool, man, because once I teach you guys how to get ChatGPT to talk like you, this is really powerful in building the relationship and the trust with your client because A, we've let them know that we are using AI. They're gonna be absolutely impressed by the fact that your robot actually sounds like you, right? It's gonna feel like they're talking to you and that's a huge, huge value proposition in there, in my opinion, okay? Um, and how do these products or services differentiate you from your competitors, right? So as you can see, some of these are thought-provoking questions that you might have to sit down and take a couple of minutes to answer these in great detail. And like I said, the more you focus on it, or not focus on it, but the, the, the more detailed you are in your responses, then the better the output's gonna be for ChatGPT, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and answer question six here. Um, I, you know, I am the AI realtor. And I'm not afraid to admit it. As a matter of fact, I'm I I can I can confidently explain why it makes me the better agent, right? Um, so um, it says here I'm afraid to admit it. So let's change that. I'm not <laughs> afraid to admit it. Um, as this is what makes the experience so unique and unforgettable, right? We don't ever want them to forget us. So the best way to do that is to make their experience unforgettable, okay? So um, as you guys can see, I still suck at, at spelling, so that's always fun. But here we are, right? Now we've question, we've answered the second segment of questions. So let's go ahead and send that through and see how ChatGPT responds for us, okay? Great, let's refine the primary products or services with your inputs, right? So here we go. And it basically refines it in there and that's where we're at, okay? So would you like to move on to the next section or is there anything specific you'd like to adjust or add into this part? So as you can see, ChatGPT is going to start guiding us through the rest of the process. Now, in order to save you guys time um, and to get to the real juicy goods of this, and that's getting ChatGPT to sound like you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up another chat that I have that I've already answered all these questions, and, I, and I'll show you how I have it summarized, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is come over here to my favorites. Let's go, oops, let me come over here to my AI, and let's grab the Learn My Business prompt. Okay. So we're coming over here and this is like I said a pre-programmed chat that I've already had with chat GPT Okay, you can see I use this exact same prompt and it basically said absolutely. Let's go step by step start with the foundation of your business Okay um, Please go section one, uh, one section at a time until complete I just realized that that wasn't in the back end of my other uh, prompt there So I'll make sure I include that into you, but that's gonna be important to keep it very organized here, right? So here's my answers. I basically answered everything as you can see I put my core values up there um, thanks for sharing these insight. We went into products or business. I answered this. Um, it's commendable that you personalize your real estate experience for each client. So you can see as it's starting to learn the business there, right? So we just keep going through section by section by section by section until I end up with a full detailed summary of what this is, right? So at the end, I you can see here, I only went through um, the, the first six on that, so I didn't go through all of it just for simplicity's sakes, once again, um, but you're gonna go through everything, okay? And then you're gonna say, summarize this entire chat into a detailed report that I can copy and paste into a document. So here it is, bam, right? So then I can copy this, I can throw this into a Word document, and there we can go, right? So what happens after that is check this out. So we start a new chat, chat GPT 4.0, okay? And then I'm gonna upload the document of my business explained, okay? So I basically took all of that summary, put it inside of a document and downloaded it as a PDF. And now chat GPT has got that information. So as you can see, we're starting a brand new chat that's not trained at all, knows nothing about me, but I put my business in there, okay? So let's do this. I'm gonna say, please, and this is really funny the way that this works because once we train chat GPT on our business, we, we can use simpler prompts and still get really good results. And this is what makes using ChatGPT so easy because you see that original prompt that I showed you, which was a mini shot prompt where I had examples of what I wanted it to ask and all of that stuff. Take some time to create those prompts. And I want you guys to get down and dirty and ready to rock with ChatGPT as fast as possible. So this is why I take you through this process. We spent all that time answering those questions. So now I can open up a new chat and very quickly teach ChatGPT about my business and just tell it what I want to do. So let's say, please create, um, uh, or let's say, please help me create a blog for my website. Um, we're going to tell it to give us five blog ideas, right? So please give me 
five blog ideas that includes a clickbait style title and brief description of the blog content. Okay. And why am I doing that? Well, it's because we're going to take the idea that it gives us and we're going to expand on it. Okay. So look at this share. Here is five blog ideas with clickbait style titles and brief descriptions based on the information from your business overview. Okay. And check it out. Unlock the secrets to buying your dream home in Denver. Dive into essential tips and strategies for first time home buyers in Denver. Learn how to navigate the market, secure financing and find the perfect home for your family. Plus discover how Adam Gillespie's expert advice can simplify the process. The ultimate guide to downsizing, how to maximize value and comfort, top 10 hidden gems in Denver's real estate market, how to beat high interest rates, expert tips for home buyers, and from blue collar to homeowner, real stories and success tips. You guys, each of these blog titles has to do with my business, right? Now, I, I didn't show you guys the, all of my answers for my business, but look, I specialize in first-time home buyers. I love blue collar workers, right? I also help people downsize their homes and I'm obviously located in Denver. So you can see how these blogs align with the values that we discussed when we taught ChatGPT about our business. So. Let's take a moment real quick to think about the value that just happened here, okay? I took a two sentence prompt that has very little substance to it, but because we uploaded our business document that has such detailed information about our business, it spits out gold, right? So now let's say, all right, great. Well, we've got the ideas. Well, how do we create the blog? Well, let's have ChatGPT create the blog. And I'm gonna show you something here because ChatGPT, this, this chat is not trained on blog creation, okay? It's very important to prompt properly, but I want to use this as an example to just show you how effective it is when we train ChatGPT about our business that I don't even have to really prime it to be an expert blog writer or a copywriter or a digital marketer, whatever we want to call it, right? So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and do this section number two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type a number two and send it through. And look, it, it's got it, right? It says the ultimate guide to downsizing, how to maximize value and comfort. Here's your introduction. Downsizing can be a daunting task, but it can also be an exciting opportunity to maximize your home's value and find comfort in a more suitable living space. So whether you're an empty nester looking to simplify your life, this guide will provide you with the insights and strategies you need to make a smooth transaction, right? So now it goes through and it numbers everything down. So if you don't like that format or it doesn't look like a blog format that you want to use, we can come in here and say, please format this like a typical real estate blog or even just a real blog is, right? Because ChatGPT knows what a blog looks like, but we didn't prompt it to format it like a blog, okay? And I'm showing you guys this just to show you kind of what these outputs look like and how we can navigate through this, okay? So now I'm gonna have it format it a little bit different. So let's see what that new format looks like. Here we go. Yeah, so instead of just numbering it down, it's giving us the, you know, little chunks. And these chunks are really, really basic, okay guys? It's not giving us a full detailed blog that we'd wanna do. Well, why? Well, because we didn't tell it how we wanted it to create the blog, how long we wanted it to be, but it's giving us a very good outline per se, right? So this is where it can kind of get pretty cool is we can say, you know, some people like to have blogs that are really easily digestible, which this is, right? Somebody could go out and read this blog in a couple of minutes and be done with it. I think you're gonna get a little bit more views on it if it's easier to read, but let's see if we wanna expand on the blog and make it longer, right? So we'll say, please expand on the blog and make it longer and more in depth. Um, we could also say, you know, make sure to keep it geared for beginners. Once again, I work with first time home buyers, so I don't want this to be complicated language. I want them to be easy to understand, right? So I've told it to expand on the blog. So now you're gonna see it's still keeping with the same uh, same title, but our introduction is, is, is about the same size, but the understanding benefits of downsizing, look, at it jumps into more detail, okay? And this is where the magic is made, guys, right? Now I'm gonna have a very comprehensive, detailed blog that I can post on my website. 
Okay, so this is excellent. This is awesome. And I didn't even have to really prime it to be an expert copywriter, which I'll show you guys that a little bit later because there are some nuances to that. But like I said, the whole point of this is to show you guys how you can jump in and get started with ChatGPT really quickly and still get amazing results from this. So as you can see, we are just cruising along creating this blog, which would have typically taken us hours or even days to write and refine and get to where we want it. But as you can see here, it gave us a very comprehensive blog that specializes in downsizing. Now look at that. I mean, this is great guys. Like downsizing offers numerous benefits, reduce maintenance, lower utility costs, unlocking home equity, simplified living, accessing your current home, getting a professional appraisal, research comparable sales, consult a real estate agent. Hey, a local real estate agent like Adam Gillespie can offer valuable insights. See, it's already recommending me because it knows about our business, right? So you guys are probably thinking like, hey, this is pretty sweet, but guess what? It's still not all the way there, guys. Like, this is a great blog and it's full of great information, but it doesn't sound like me, right? And in order to really build that rapport and that trust with people, especially when we're doing it over the internet or over emails or correspondence is where we can't be directly in contact with them and they can't see us for who we are with our body language and our personality, it's super important for us to be able to do this, right? So. Next step is going to be to teach chat GPT about our speech patterns. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a sneak peek into exactly how effective this is, I'm going to mention my clone GPT that I've programmed on my speech patterns and my business, and I'm going to have it rewrite this blog. Okay. So we're going to go over here. We're going to grab AI Adam and say, rewrite this in my style in my speaking style, right? Because we want it to sound like us. Okay, so let's see what it does. All right, here we go. <clears throat> What's up, folks? If you're thinking about downsizing, whether you're an empty nester or just looking to simplify your life, I've got you covered. Downsizing can be a big move, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Let's dive into how you can maximize your home's value to find comfort in a more suitable space. So this sounds way different than the other blog. It sounds like me. It's got my style on it. So this is where the magic is made, guys. So you might be asking me, Adam, how the heck do you get it to sound like you? Well, guys, there's three different ways that we can do that, okay? So the first way is going to be via text. Just like we went in with the Learn My Business prompt, I'll give you guys another prompt that shows you how to program a chat for ChatGPT to basically interview you and you can respond via text or you can respond via voice mode, right? And you can answer all the questions that ChatGPT is going to be asking you, okay? So that is gonna be one of the, the better ways to do it, but the ultimate best way to do it is gonna be for you, if you have um, um, like, like a video of you on YouTube where you're speaking unscripted, the more of this you have, the better. Um, if you don't have any YouTube videos or any recordings of you being unscripted, what you're gonna wanna do is set up your camera or set up your phone, even open up Otter A, AI or something like that, where it's going to transcribe what it is that you're saying, or we can record it and put it onto YouTube and then get the transcription. You're going to want to give yourself a mock buyer presentation and a listing presentation. Okay. Once you have these videos recorded, you're going to upload them into YouTube and then you're going to use a, uh, a, 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 a plugin called note GPT. And I'll show you guys all about this plugin right here. So if you're up in your Chrome browser here, you can go into your extensions. All right. And you're going to search the Chrome web store for this extension. Okay. So you're going to search for note GPT. Now it's very important not to put a space in between note and GPT because it won't pull it up for some reason, right? It'll, it'll just give you a bunch of this stuff and this isn't what we want, right? We want this guy right here with the blue Celtic knot, Note GPT. You're going to go ahead and add that to Chrome. But what Note GPT does is it transcribes YouTube videos. So if I go to my YouTube channel right here, right? Let's say we go to my channel and let's just pull up one of my one of my um, uh, one of my updates, my market updates. Okay. So we got a market update right here. You're going to see Note GPT pulls this up, and it has everything transcribed right now if, as long as it's unscripted this is going to sound like you so you're going to copy this information right here and you're going to put it inside of a document okay and the more information you have or the more data that you have that is you unscripted the better it's going to be able to duplicate your speech patterns so you're going to do this for multiple videos or like i said if you don't have a video you're going to do this mock uh, uh buyer's presentation and a listing presentation so that way you have a good solid like hour of you talking or more 
And then you're gonna transcribe that, like, like I said, upload the video to YouTube, have Note GPT transcribe it. Once you have that, you're gonna save that into a document, okay? So let's do this, all right? Let's pretend that I never brought my GPT in here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, rewrite this in my speaking style. I have attached an example of my speaking style to this prompt, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we would attach this to the prompt, but see, it's not giving me the option to attach. That's because I already sent this prompt through. I can edit the prompt, but I can't attach to it. So what I wanna do is I wanna come back over here and let's restart this process. So you guys can see how powerful this really is, okay? So we're starting a brand new chat again, all right? Once again, we're gonna say, uh, you know, please help me create a blog for my website. Give me five clickbait style titles and a brief description for each, okay? <clears throat> And it doesn't have to be the exact same um, prompt as I put in the last one. We just want it to give us five clickbait style titles with a brief description for each, okay? And make sure that we open up and attach our business explained right there, okay? And then we can go ahead and send that through. It's gonna give us the clickbait titles, 10 shocking facts about buying a home in Denver that you wouldn't believe. Um, how I helped 40 families find their dream home in record time and how you can too. The ultimate guide to downsizing, transform your life with these simple steps. The hidden gems of Denver, top five neighborhoods you've never heard of and from brew collar to homeowner. So you can see it kind of gives us the same ideas, which I'll show you guys that we, we can, we can build on this later. So it's not always the same idea, but for simplicity sakes, let's just keep going. So here we go. We're going to do number one, right? So let's say, please create number one in my speaking style, okay? I attached an example to this prompt, okay? And then once again, we've already gone through that exercise there, so we have our document that is our speaking style, right? So I've got it right there, and now I've uploaded that in there. And now watch what's gonna happen, guys. This is how quickly we can train a chat on our speaking style and our business. Hey, what's up, Denver? Adam Gillespie here, your No BS Realtor with eXp Realty, coming at you with some jaw-dropping truths about buying a home in this crazy market. So grab your popcorn because you won't believe these 10 shocking facts, right? The true cost of, of homes. Everyone knows Denver's housing prices are steep, but did you know that the average closing costs can add thousands to your budget? Be prepared for those sneaky extras like inspection fees, property taxes, and insurance. Okay, so you can see it sounds like me and it's throwing out that blog in that format once again, that's pretty easily digestible, but we can change that. So let's let it finish writing that and then just say, this is great, right? Sounds like me, it's giving out good information. Um, it's definitely not uh, um, I'm hallucinating. So you're gonna wanna obviously read through on this and make sure that the information is correct because uh, sometimes chat GPT will hallucinate, right? So we can have it verify its sources um, and just make sure that it actually read through our documents to ensure that it didn't hallucinate and always, always, always scrutinize. So that way we can prevent those hallucinations because it really doesn't work if you just blame it on chat GPT for the reason you gave bad information. Uh, it's still gonna tarnish your reputation. We don't want that, right? Um, so we're gonna say, this is great. Please expand on the blog and make it more in depth. while still easy to understand, okay? So let's go ahead and send this through. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Denver? Adam Gillespie here, right? It still gives us our same thing. I am the no BS realtor, just in case you guys wondered. That's kind of my thing. I advertise myself as not, you know, no bullshit. That's just the way that I work, all right? So here we go. Hey, what's up, Denver? Adam Gillespie here, your no BS realtor, EXP Realty, coming at you some jaw-dropping truth about buying a home in this crazy market. Uh, everyone knows Denver housing prices are steep, but you know the average closing, uh, closing costs are more. So you can see it goes into more detail here, right? These costs include inspection fees, property taxes, insurance, and more. It's essential to budget for these extras so you're not blind cited at closing. For instance, expect to pay two to 5% of the home's purchase price and closing costs. So on a $500,000 home, that's an additional $10,000 to $25,000. So keep that in mind when you're crunching the numbers. Now, yeah, that's probably a little bit high, but not really. It just depends on how they're buying the home, right? Like here in Colorado, if they're using down payment assistance as a first time home buyer, that's an entirely other loan, right? That's a 1%. So that's $5,000 in Chaffa closing costs, not including closing on the primary mortgage.
mortgage, right? So you can see how this can quickly get up there into that $10,000 to $25,000 range, right? Then it goes into some uh, some neighborhood gyms, talks about, you know, Harvey Park, University Hills, um, bidding wars, credit uh, credit myths debunked, appraisal gap, first time home buyer programs, all of that awesome stuff. We've got ourselves a, an awesome blog here, right? So we just copy, uh, copy this paste it into our website and start driving traffic there. But it doesn't stop there, guys, right? Like now I got the blog and we've got this chat trained on how I wanna speak. So let's have it create us a social media post that's gonna link to the blog. So please create a Facebook and uh, LinkedIn post linking to the blog, right? Here we go, let's see what it does. Right, it's gonna give us emojis and everything, guys, and it's gonna sound like us. So this is the big point I'm trying to make is that when we do this properly, your output from ChatGPT is not only more human and sounds just like you, but it's more genuine, guys. It's more genuine. It's an amazing way to get your personality across when you can't get in front of people. So let's read this post. Hey, Denver, are you ready to uncover the hidden truths about a crazy real estate market from sneaky closing costs to secret neighborhoods? I've got the inside scoop for you. Whether you're a first time home buyer or looking to upgrade it, this tips, these tips will blow your mind. And then we link the blog right there. Hit me up if you've got any questions or need help navigating the Denver real estate market. Let's make your home ownership dreams come true. And there's our hashtags. Boom, guys. This is absolutely gold, right? Now what we've done in very little time is we've trained ChatGPT on our business and our speech patterns, had it give us five ideas for blogs. We created the base of the blog. We emphasized the blog, made it in our style, and now we've created the Facebook post for it. But it gets better. It gets better better. What are we going to use for the image? Well, let's have chat GPT help us with that, right? So I'm going to say, please create an image for this blog. Make the image in landscape format. You know, this is the simple way to, 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 to say it, uh, landscape format, or you could say, you know, 16 by nine, um, uh, or whatever that is to get that, us that wide angle view. So that way it fits really nicely on our website. Now here, if you just tell it that it's going to create an image in whatever style it wants. So we want to give it a little bit more context, right? So I'm going to say high quality digital art. Right, so this is gonna be really close to like real photo quality. You can even say photo quality if you want. You can say, you know, high definition photo quality. You could even go down into it and say as if it was being shot from an a, a Sony A6400 or something like that. And it'll grab it, guys. I'm telling you, it's really, really cool. So let's see what it does for us here and see what it creates. Because what it's doing now is it's gonna take the information from the blog right? The substance of the blog, and it's going to grab that and try to create its own prompt in the background to create this image for us. Okay. So let's see if it follows its instructions. Sometimes we do have to reprompt it on here, but check it out guys. It did it. It is pretty cartoony, but that's something to expect with Dolly three. We can go in and edit this image if we need to, but look, it redid our Facebook post for us. Okay. It redid our LinkedIn post, but this is the picture it gave us guys. The spelling's even accurate, right? Now this definitely looks more like a, a drawn art. Um, so we could potentially come in here to the image and say, please make this photo realistic. Okay, it's all about how we choose to make it. Now keep in mind guys, Dolly cannot do photo duplication like that. That's more of a mid journey type task, but keeping it all inside the same atmosphere here or in the same ecosystem, you can see that we can definitely create blogs uh, that are pretty awesome. Um, you know, see, still kind of same thing, but even our spelling was right. So I'm going to take that as a win because anybody here who's ever played with Dolly knows that it can't spell, right? But this is great. So what we would do is we would just download this, right? And then when we go to upload this to our website, we have the image, we have our social media post, and we have the blog all in our style. So guys, I hope this helps shed some light on how important it is to clone yourself inside of chat GPT and what we can do with it. And this was literally just scratching the surface. There are so many other case scenarios that I can give you guys on how we can use this. Like I use this to respond to emails. Okay. I use this to create uh, my, my content, my scripts. So if I'm doing a market update, I'll have it pull the data and then create the script in my style. So it sounds like me and then I can throw it in a teleprompter and then it's not full of ums and ahs and me babbling on because as you guys can already tell from this tutorial alone, I'm pretty good at talking and babbling on. So uh, sometimes I want to keep the information short and sweet and this is where this comes into play, but it gets even better. Like I write my listing descriptions in my style, basically anything that you can do where you're creating content or creating an email, buyer's guides, 
seller's guides, all of that stuff we can now make in our style, knowing about our business. So guys, once again, I hope you guys found awesome and amazing value from this. Um, this is one of the biggest game changers for me in using ChatGPT, and I hope it is the big game changer for you guys as well. We'll catch you on the next video. All right, guys, now you know how to clone yourself into ChatGPT, which is going to be one of the biggest game changers for your business you've ever experienced in the world of AI. And I'm absolutely excited to see how well you guys do with it and what the results are. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and comment below on, you know, what how, how's this process work? out for you guys did you guys get it to clone yourself are you having issues because at the end of the day I want to make sure that you guys get this done the way that I did so you can have the results that I had now with all of that being said the next video is going to level you up again now what we're gonna do next time is I'm gonna show you guys how to take everything that we've already done up front right so I've taught you guys about chat GPT taught you how to teach it about your business cloned in your speech patterns now you have an AI clone so the next step is gonna to be to create your marketing plan, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to take all of the information from your business, draft out an entire marketing plan into bullet points where you're gonna be able to go through with ChatGPT like it's your own personal marketing consultant and build out your entire marketing plan. So stay tuned for the next video. This one is gonna be absolutely killer and it will wrap us up in our series of how to get you pro-efficient with ChatGPT so that way you can level up your business. I will see you guys on the next video.